Hello there. Welcome to All About the Bass. Uh, my name's Lee, and my mate Nathan isn't here with me today. So um, there's just a bit of special news uh, we had to get in uh, a little bit quicker, because we've had a massive delivery of some beautiful, beautiful basses. So um, as I'm here, and Nate's probably out playing somewhere with level 42, um, uh, I will take you through what we got. And obviously, as you can see, I'm surrounded by this plethora of gorgeous, gorgeous colors and gorgeous, gorgeous new Music Man Stingray basses. Uh, we first saw these back in NAMM in January 2018, um, when they released these, um, and we've been waiting very, very patiently ever since. So we got one of the first orders in, um, we, we did there, and it turns out that we've actually got all of the stock for the UK right now. So this is pretty special. So um, there's only one place to come and see the new Stingray 2018s, and it's at Anderton's. Um, so we've got a selection here, there's another load coming through in the next couple of days. Um, so in total, I think we've got about 30, 30 bases. Um, so uh, take your pick, really. And I'm going to about to run you through what they've offered, what they've changed from the last Stingray. Um, but as you can see, there's some pretty new colours as well here to talk about. So I'm going to shut up and I'm going to start talking again, but about specs. So let me grab this, this little beauty. Um, so. If you are a Stingray fan or Music Man fan, um, you know you know the sound. You know the, the classic Music Man sound that there is out of the, the Stingrays. Um, you're still getting that in, in this new 2018 range, but they've made some, um, some little tweaks to make it a little bit easier to play, um, some extra headroom as well with the, the preamp that's built in, um, and little finite details that you might not necessarily see to look at, um, but they're making a whole lot of difference. So, um, first things first, you can see this lovely dark roasted maple neck, um, which is, uh, I say it's the trend now. It, it is, but it's for a good reason. I mean, it actually um, does give the, the neck a little bit more rigidity, apparently. Um, obviously, it looks so cool. It just looks wicked. Compared to, I'll say, show you some, um, an older Music Man in a minute from, um, from the previous range. Um, and you'll see how much difference there is in this maple. Um, but that is, uh, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous matte finish on the neck. Um, another new feature, brand new uh, custom designed Music Man tuning pegs. Uh, these are custom right to, to be as lightweight as possible. So um, helping the weight relief from the, on, the, on the base completely, um, especially down this end um, for the tuning peg, so you're not gonna be too top heavy. Um, and equally on the body size of it, um, they've uh, they've uh, released the they've, they've actually edited it, it's this so, so it's a lot lighter weight. So you're looking, and they used to be around nine and a half pounds for the older bases. These are coming out around eight point eight, so eight pound eight ounces. So it's, it's quite a significant difference. Um, you really feel it. I mean, I know that normally in the shop I'm picking these off the wall, and it's and it's something that um, you can feel. You can you can feel feel the weight through it, which obviously some people like. This though is just it's just amazing just to be uh, holding a proper stingray and you're not going to break your back after a few hours. So um, another cool little feature, um, you've got also the new bridge. Oh, this is a vintage style bridge instead of the standard bridge they were using on the um, on the other range. Um, this is just a little bit slimmer um, on the actual uh, the actual workings of it. Um, but other than that, 
that's just a new new little update. The main parts are in the electronics that they've really made the made the change to. So if I fit this over on the back, Chris, have a little look. So this is an 18 volt preamp instead of a nine volt. So um, it's doubled the amount of uh, of headroom got from the coming from the pickup, um, and that's that's going to help massively with um, th just being heard and, and cutting through. Obviously, with these three band EQ you get on the Stingray. You can always tweak to, to, to for the, the room that you're playing in or the studio you're working in or what desk you're going in or amp. There's a lot of control here with uh, bass, middle, treble frequencies as well to play around with. Um, and finally, um, what they've also done is the they've updated the pickup. So these, instead of being Alnico magnets, are now uh, neodymium. So very, very lightweight magnets. Um, again, helping with the overall weight of the, of the bass um, and meant to bring that, that extra little bit of brightness, have a little, little bit of a um, clarity to the pickup as well. We've got five bolts instead of six. Now you're probably thinking, why are they taking something away? Well, um, they need to do that because they put an extra fret on. So instead of 21, uh, we've got 22. Have I got that right? It's 20 instead of 20, let me have a little look. Yeah, yeah, we have 22 instead of 21. Um, so, but because of that, and you're trying to get right up the high end, they did need to lose one of the bolts in the neck, neck joint, um, but you still got five. How many bolts do you need? It's still gonna be in place. It's still gonna be where it needs to be. Um, the neck radius is quite interesting because on the specs it says um, that there's nothing changed. And I'm, I'm sure that's right from, from Music Man. Um, I don't know if it's something just we're feeling in the store. All the bass players around the shop have been um, um, having a little feel of these. Like I, we had to have a go at these, in, obviously in Nam, um, and Stuart, one of the bass players here as well, picked them up and said, I'm sure this is a little bit thinner. Um, it doesn't say technically it is, but something is, something's changed. I find them a lot easier to play, just having a little quick go on these at the moment, um, compared to the other ones, but apparently there's no difference, but you make your mind up. You make me all right. I think it's thinner. Um, really, that is about it. Obviously, i say that's it. There's quite a lot of, lot of changes for these Stingrays. They don't go through a lot of, lot of change. Um, so they picked 2018 as the year to just do an update, and these are now called the Stingray Special because of the, of the updates they've done. So there's a few options. So obviously you see some beautiful colors behind me. Um, this is a lovely black, as you probably guess. Black with roasted neck. Um, there's, this is the single humbucker version. That's what I was gonna say as well. There is also twin humbucker um, options available. And this is the only difference where you've got a little bit more switching options. So this is, it works the same as the previous Stingray bases, um, but let me just talk you through so if you're not too sure. So um, double humbuckers means uh, yeah, they add this, this, the five-way selector in here as well. So it's different combinations of pickups or the coils, like the inner or outer coils. Um, so in particular, if you're using right back at position number one, you're just using the humbucker here. Uh, position number two, you're using the outer coils of both pickups. Um, position three, both pickups in full on, of both rows of magnets. Um, you're in the four position and you're using the two inner coils. And finally, right down here, just the humbucker in the neck. So it opens it up and you'll hear, uh, we'll do a little bit of playing in a minute, um, where you can hear uh, those variances in a, in a bit of playing. So, um, but other than that, you've got the exactly same three band EQ and um, and yeah, and gorgeous, gorgeous finish, finishing. This, now I've got to remind myself of these colors because they're brilliant. Um, now this is either Aqua Sparkle if I'm getting that right, um, or a chopper blue, but I think it's that one, so bear with us. Anyway, it's sparkly and blue. What more do you need? So you've got blue, uh, the blue sparkle, obviously natural finish, HD yellow, look at that. And that has got the stealth hardware. Let me jump over here. So I think stealth hardware is another option you can get, which we've ordered a bit of a mixture of everything, um, but that means you get the black hardware, black pit guard, um, sorry, control plate, black tuning pegs as well. Um, is there are some options with uh, ebony board as well. This is rosewood, um, but that double humbucker I was just holding then is an ebony board, again with the stealth hardware. And this is cruise teal. Um, I should love, oh man, this again, a lovely, lovely base. Again, stealth hardware. This one has an ebony board. Um, this is a really dark roasted maple uh, neck on that. There's a little bit of bird's eye in there, which is very nice. Um, but again, yeah, so you kind of surf greeny color, but cruise teal in Music Man language. Um, what have we got over here? Ah, oh, we have burnt apple. Now look at that. Obviously a little bit of sparkle in there as well. 
Um, but yeah, with this, uh, this burnt kind of burst slight effect, um, that is your burnt apple color. Again, all roasted maple. Uh, we have Chopper Blue, which is a lovely, oh, I really like this color actually. I really, really like this color, that, that sort of pastel finish. Um, but yeah, obviously this one's got a slightly different scratch plate. I don't know why, because it's not very, it's not, it's not different to the other ones I'm trying to have a look here. I'll find out. But yeah, Perloy scratch plate on the Chopper Blue. Um, we have Charging Green, which uh, again is great. It's not quite, uh, can I say Sherwood Green? But, but it's not quite that, but it's a little bit richer, a little bit more of the actual color come through. It's not so dark, um, but yeah, that kind of metallic finish to it as well, which is, oh man, they just, they all look stunning this year. This looks great. I think this might be my favorite though. So this is Charcoal Sparkle. Um, and again, this is with the Stealth hardware. So I think this just looks stunning. So ebony board, again, black tuning pegs, black hardware, um, and look at that finish. Can't be bad, can't be bad. Right, and then finally, last but not least, right at the end here, we've got Tobacco Burst. Another double humbucker. Um, tobacco Burst. Um, so look, so this is our first selection of what's, what's come through to us. As I said, um, we've got, um, it just so happens how it, how it worked. We've got the first batch coming through into the UK. So um, it's very exciting. Um, I would urge anyone that's pretty, pretty local to come down and have a little look. Um, we're gonna have these out on display, all, all of these. We're gonna get as mu much out as we, as we can. Um, we do have others of these and, and duplicates of some colors. Um, and, um, and yes, please come down and see what you think. Um, I'm gonna grab uh, one of the older ones, just very quickly, just to show you that roasted maple comparison, because not, not taking anything away from normal unroasted maple, but there we go, that's what it looks like. It's obviously a bright, brighter wood, this is the natural colour of the wood, um, and this is one of the older, slightly older models that's now been superseded. But as you can see, the layout is the same, but a few things have changed, including the weight. Again, I can feel this, I feel this is a bit weightier. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't roasted your maple, that's what it looks like. If you have, look at that. I know what I prefer. But anyway, there we go. So, I would urge anyone that's around, say, to come down, give them a try, um, make your mind, mind up. There's, um, uh, there's, say, a lot coming through in stock. Um, it, it's definitely the one to, um, one to look at. Uh, I've only just realized we haven't changed the sign. Um, give us two seconds. There we go. Cool. Right, now I'm gonna take you through some of these sounds. Uh, on this double humbucker. Um, I will show you, I can show you actually both, what you get on the, uh, the single humbucker as well. So, okay. So if I'm starting from this, the, the back part, this is what you're getting um, just on the normal single humbucker stingrays. So um, it's just one sound uh, from, uh, from the bridge, uh, but then you've got your bass, middle and treble uh, components to play with as well on your preamp. So everything at the moment is set to 12 o'clock. So you can either take away or boost boost the level on. So everything's just in the in in the middle at the moment. So this is what it sounds like at the moment. This is when you can start playing around with the tone. So um, obviously for bass. I want to bring out the bass. This is probably going to kick it because of the 18 volt now, but. Yes, from that big, big low end presence. I'm going to roll that back to 12. Uh, this is your mid frequency. So if I put it on four. So you can hear that extra bit of definition and that sort of say that higher, higher mid range popping out. Um, if I was to take that away. It still sounds lovely, but you can tell it's missing something. If I bring that back in, just up to 12. And finally, treble. So again, it's on the 12 position at the moment, so let me just whack it full on. Again, 
take it completely out. So there we are. That is what you're getting on all your normal Stingrays with a one pickup. Um, when you get to the double humbucker, obviously you've got all that to play with and a five-way selector. So um, you've already hear, heard the, the normal humbucker on its own. So as soon as I go to the second position, this is the two outer coils. So this is what it sounds like. Third position is both humbuckers on full. So all the coils, all the pickups. And then we've got fourth position is the two inner coils. So just these two here. And finally, neck pickup on its own. So there we go. That is the rundown. So plenty of options as you see from the for the double humbucker, um, but they're not for everyone. Some people just love that classic Stingray sound that you get with the traditional one pickup. Um, and obviously, there's a there's enough, enough choice here for you if that's that's yourself. So there we are. Sweet. Well, there we go, guys. And um, say any further questions or anything you need to know. Um, our lovely sales team are at your bed and call. Uh, I'm gonna say 24 hours, but uh, 9.30 to six o'clock most, most days. Um, and uh, just give us a shout, anything else you need to know, but say there's nowhere else you're gonna find them in the country right now. So if you can get down here, please do come and try them because they won't last long. So um, I will sign off and it's bye from me and bye from Nathan, but bye from me mostly and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.